We have finished getting all the color on here and the next step is to um, cream the um, all of the little spots. You have all these little white spots and we're going to get some vegetable oil. It, you don't have to have vegetable oil. You can use linseed oil or there's all kinds of different types of oils that you can use to cream all of this creamy oil pastels together and um, and then we'll finish it up with a little bit of black outlining. So, okay, there's different ways to do it. I have, I'm an oil painter, so I have a whole bunch of these old uh, paint brushes. So sometimes I bring a bunch of paint brushes to class and the kids go in with a paint brush and start smoothing and creaming all these colors together with a paintbrush. Um, when you go from color to color, you kind of have to clean your brush. So you all you have to have other things to clean your brush. Yeah, you know, you have to have stuff to clean your brush. And what you're doing is I'm just kind of creaming this together. See how I'm kind of mixing the colors together. I'm hoping you guys can see that. That it's kind of mixing the colors together. That's a good example right there. You know, and sometimes, you know, see how it had red in it? So I just kind of creamed it together. And sometimes when it overlaps, it's kind of cool what it looks like. See, now see there was a big piece of red right there, so now I can just cream that together with the yellow and it becomes orange. And what's neat about this is when it's done, um, you could go back in and clean up anything that you want to clean up. Like I said, if you're using a brush, sometimes you have to clean the brush off. I always have paper towel. When I paint, I always have a paper towel and a brush. <laughs> so, so I can just wipe my brush if I need to. And like this, see there were like places in here that were white. And we're getting this oil pastel. We're, we're uh, just creaming it together and covering up, kind of painting over those little areas. So let's say you have a whole bunch of kids and you don't have paint brushes that you want to get oil on. Let me show you something else you can do that works just as good. Well, pretty much as good these little things these little q-tips so you just go in with the q-tip and you're basically doing the same thing you're just rubbing it over the top and you're you know you're you're going in here and cleaning up all of those little uh, white spots I know when I was working in the public school they didn't have a lot of you know brushes and and things like that. So if I was going to do a project like this, I'd have to come up with a cheap, I guess, hack, <laughs> if you want to call it. And, um, and this is what we used. We used, we went in and creamed all this together. And then the thing about it was, is these are inexpensive. You don't have to clean them off, but they're inexpensive. You can just throw them away and get another one, but you have two sides. So like if you just did orange and you're going to go back and do yellow, then you don't want to mix the colors. You can just flip it over to the other side. Go in here and cream some of this together. And, um, now you don't want to get too much oil on there because then you're swimming in oil and that's not always a good thing. See how I just clean that up right there? Filled that in. I may go back in here and add some yellow on top of that to kind of clean that up. 
See, I just smeared that. It's another reason why I like using a brush, but you know, sometimes if you don't have a brush, dad gum it, you gotta use whatever you have, right? There. Let me go back in and clean that up again. Okay, so what you're gonna do is we're gonna go over all of this, the entire painting and fill in all of the little holes, all the little white specks. See, I find that takes a lot of the oil pastel off. That's why I like using the brush. But if you don't have one, then you use whatever you need, you have, right? So in my original video, um, many times when I'm doing art or explaining how to do art or whatever, I have just music playing in the background. And what happened was uh, YouTube flagged the uh, music, the radio, I probably had Spotify on in the background and flagged it as illegal um, use of video, I mean, a illegal use of music for YouTube. So there will be places where I've gone back into my video and cut out the music or the background noise or the background whatever. And so there will be places in this video where there will be just silence. So to clean your brush, I just dipped my brush back in the oil and just kind of cleaned it off to get the oil pastel off. And then of course you have the same thing that I'm right-handed, I started here and I have all this oil here. So I'm gonna have to turn my artwork around um, because I'm gonna get my hand or my arm in the oil. And if I put paper on it now, then the oil will, it'll just, what happens is it, see, it starts going through and then it gets on, it goes through and then it gets on your paper. And if you move your paper, then it will smear. So you have to be really careful with that. So, a good way of doing this is if you're working with blues, do all the blue. Like if I'm, I'm working with blue here, I'm going to work on blue here too. Um, and do all the blue. And don't mix like blue and red because then you're going to get the blue that's on your brush is going to end up in your red or yellow. So I'm just going over all the blue area first. Then I'm going to clean my brush and go over the purple area. Then I'm going to clean my brush, go over the yellow area. I am now going to speed up the video so you can watch the process of me blending all of these colors and all of this oil pastel on the page.
So as you can see here, I didn't clean my brush good enough or maybe even at all. And I have to go back over this area. If you love what you see, hit the button below, subscribe today. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.